This is Gene Key for SkyServe News. The Associated Press reports from San Antonio. Authorities accuse a man of fatally shooting his wife and her older brother after an argument when he went to a relative's house in Bear County to get their seven-year-old son. Bear County Sheriff Sergeant Raymond Pollard said that shooting occurred Wednesday night when the man, whose name was not released, went to the house to pick up his son for a visit. Witnesses told the San Antonio Express News that the 48-year-old mother argued with the man outside the house before running inside yelling, He's got a gun. Pollard says the man followed, shot her several times, and gunned down her 57-year-old brother when he tried to help. The man, who was in his 40s, then fled. The victim's names were not immediately released. The boy was unharmed. The Associated Press reports from Houston, retail gasoline prices across Texas have jumped four cents this week as motorists continued traveling during the holidays. AAA Texas on Thursday reported that the average price at the pump is $3.09 per gallon. The association says gasoline prices nationwide are also up four cents, reaching $3.25 per gallon. AAA Texas says Texarkana has the highest average price statewide for gasoline at $3.13 a gallon. El Paso has the cheapest gasoline at an average of $2.97 per gallon. The Associated Press reports from Westlaco. DNA evidence taken from a double murder in South Texas 23 years ago has led police to a man they believe may be responsible for the unsolved crime. Westlaco police spokesman J.P. Rodriguez says Evan and Wilda Squire were gunned down in their trailer home November the 13th, 1988. The sleeping elderly Canadian couple awoke to find several intruders in their home. The Squires were shot multiple times before their assailant fled. DNA evidence taken from the crime scene was entered into law enforcement database. More than two decades later, the DNA of a 41-year-old man in police custody in Grand Rapids, Michigan, matched. The Monitor of McAllen reports Thursday that police declined to release the man's name but said he faces extradition to Weslaco on capital murder charges. If you'd like the latest Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow on YouTube. Simply search Gene Key or SkyServe News. You can also follow me on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key for SkyServe News.